Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will talk about the total estimation of superstructure. Okay, this is a single room. Dear friends, this is my rectangular room, and we will find the estimation for superstructure uh, above the ground. We call it superstructure. If it is below the ground, we call it substructure. Okay, we will find the total estimation. This video will be, inshallah, this video will be very interesting. Watch this video carefully so that you will not miss anything. Okay? If you will get the idea about the single room, similarly you can find the estimation for two room, three room or simply for a flat. Okay? So now let's start. So this is my room. I don't add here door or some there will be door obviously there will be door or some window uh, I will later on tell you what you have to do do for door and window and so on okay now let's start this is my room this rectangular room having dimension 19 feet into 19 feet into 34 feet this is my wall first and wall second so wall first 19 feet and wall second 34 feet so this is my wall first on the parallel side there will be similar wall wall first and similarly wall second on the other side there will be wall second okay now let's start the total length is 19 feet and the height of height total height is 5 feet 1 inch this is my beam the beam is 9 inch the height of beam is 9 inch and the height of masonry is 4 feet and the height of slab is 4 inch you will think here that we will never consider the height of room 4 feet because this is not any standard this is uh, simply the assumption generally we take the height of room or the height of building uh, 9 feet to 10 feet 9 feet to 10 feet this is the standard but here this is uh, j j just the assumption you can later on write here the 9 feet and similarly you can find the calculation okay so height is 9 feet and the height of beam is 9 inch and the height of slab is 4 inch. This is my isometric view of this room. This will be my beam. This will be my beam. And the, the, this will be my masonry. After masonry, I have simply the slab. Okay. Now we will find the total estimation. Now let's start. Now let's start to find the total estimation. You, you don't need to make any table. Just we will find the total estimation in a simple way. I will first write here wall first. First I will calculate the total number of bricks. So bricks, bricks. So bricks, the, I have to take the length. So this is my wall 1, the total length is 9 feet and for wall 2 the total length is 34 feet. So I will first take the 9, nine feet, 19 feet. So the length will be 19 feet. Okay. So 19 feet is the total length. Here's I will add here something. So as you know, this is the total height of wall uh, masonry is 4 feet, and the thickness of masonry is 9 inch wall. Okay. So similarly, the thickness of beam is 9 inch. You got it? Okay. So now the bricks we have to find the quantity quantity you know it's length into breadth into height so the length of for first of all the length is 19 19 feet and the breadth breadth is uh, breadth is 9 inch so here we make the mistake whenever you you have to write the 9 inch some people write just like this and this is wrong so what you have to do, we, you have to, in 1 feet we know we have 12 inch. Simply divide 1 by 12, you got 0 0.08. And multiply this 0 0.08 into, we have here 9 inch. We will get, simply 9, okay. You will, we will get 0 0.75. 0 0.75 indicates 9 inch. Similarly, if it is 5 inch, it means 0 0.5. If it is 3 inch, it means 0 0.25. Got it? Now, Length is 19 feet, breadth will be 0 0.75 and height will be, as I told you, height is 4 feet, 4 feet. So, the total it will be 57, 
CFT. You got it? Now here you have to remember one thing. In one meter cube, in one meter cube, we need approximately 500 bricks. So, for one CFT, we need 13.5 bricks. Remember this thing. This is very important. So, for one CFT, we need 13.5 bricks. So, I will just multiply here into 13.5. I will get 769.5 bricks. But, you know, wall 1 is twice. On one side and the parallel side, there is wall 1 again. So, I will multiply 2. So, the total bricks will be 1539 okay this is the easiest way and for wall second the bricks will be you know we have length is 34 feet and the width is 0 0.7 that's 9 inch and height is 4 feet if we will calculate this we will get 102 CFT as you know for one CFT we need 13.5 bricks multiply 13.5 if we multiply 13.5 we will get 1377 okay but we know wall twice because from one side and from other side this is just a rectangular you will I will show you here this is wall 2 and this is wall 1 so wall 1 will be 1 times 2 times and wall 2 will be 1 times 2 times so I will multiply here 2 so I will get 0 0.2754 bricks okay this is the total bricks for wall 2 now I will find the total bricks total bricks will be will be 2754 that's wall 2 plus wall 1 or wall 1 plus wall 2 whatever 1539 I will just sum these two this and this you will find 4293 bricks we need okay this is the total bricks we need for this room for 19 feet into 30 34 feet room guys here you can detect the window door as I told you earlier how guys if you have the door the the door width is 3 feet and height is 7 feet what you have to do you have to find the quantity 3 feet into 7 feet into 9 inch okay that's 0 0.75 this is just you have to add this thing if there is any door in the building so you will find the quantity you so guys this is the 3 feet into 7 feet into 0 0.75 inch so you will find the total quantity and you will subtract that quantity from the total you will subtract that quantity from the total quantity of bricks okay that will give the deduction that you will sim simply just subtract that thing so this is very easy but in this case I don't have any door I don't take any door or I don't take any window okay so I don't need to subtract anything so guys total number of bricks is 4293 okay now we will find the uh, now we will find the motor as you all know in bricks when we add the motor motor how to find the quantity of motor this is very important so for motor as we know we take the motor ratio in bricks approximately 20 to 30 percent of total volume 20 to 30 percent of total volume so I will take here 25 percent okay I will take here 25 percent as so for that I have to first find the total quantity total quantity the total quantity will be the total quantity will be 57 as you see here as you see here my dear brother, friends it is 57 CFT for wall 1 and for 2 it is 102 CFT but 57 is for one wall I have to multiply into 2 so 57 into 2 plus 102 into 2 so when we multiply 57 into 2 it will be 114 plus 204 it will be 
318 CFT 318 CFT is the total CFT of masonry wall masonry wall okay now I will take 25% here the for the quantity of motor I will take 25% so that is 25 by 100 this is very important into from the total quantity that is 380 so 18 so I will get 79.5 CFT so 79.5 CFT will be the quantity for motor okay I will use ratio here 1 is to 6 this is a general ratio for motor so 1 is to 6 so I, I have to add this thing 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 okay now what I will do I will find the quantity of cement how much cement bags I need for this wall for this room for so for 19 feet into 34 feet wall room okay the quantity of cement will be so the what I have to do I have to take this 79.5 CFT 79.5 this is the total quantity for mass for motor so I will take 79.5 multiply multiply by the 1.27 this 1.27 is for the wet volume so what we do we uh, the volume will be increases in motor 27 percent so what uh, always we multiply 1.27 okay you have to remember this thing whatever will be the quantity whether the quantity is 100 CFT 200 CFT you have to always multiply into 1.27 into 1 because the ratio of cement is 1 divided by sum of ratio sum of ratio is 7 so you will get here so you will get here dear friends you will get here 14.42 CFT so we know one bag of cement the total volume is 1.25 okay you we know this thing okay 1 feet into 1 feet into 1.25 feet this is length into breadth into height of the one bag of cement so one bag of cement we know the volume is 1.25 so how because we have the measuring box the the dimension of measuring box is 1 feet into 1 feet into 1.25 feet okay this will be the volume of one bag so I will just divide divide by 1.25 so I will get here 11.5 bags approximately I will need 12 bags of cement for this machinery okay now what about my dear friends what about sand what about sand sand will be similarly sand will be total quantity of motor that is 79.5 into volume that is factor of safety or we can say the volume of dry volume will be 1.27 into and we know we use 1.6 ratio 1 is to 6 ratio into 6 this time because the 6 indicates sand divided by sum sum is 6 plus 1 that's 7 so if I calculate this thing I will get 86 CFT so I need 86 CFT okay so this is the quantity for masonry now we will find the quantity for uh, quantity for beam as I told you earlier this is my masonry okay this is my masonry and below masonry I have the beam and the dimension of beam as I told you is is 9 feet 9 inch sorry 9 inch height and the thickness is thickness is also 9 Inch because we use 9 inch masonry wall so thickness is also 9 inch so for that I have to find first the side 1 that is beam side 1 because beam side 1 so for beam side 1 we know the wall 1 is 19 feet and wall 2 is 34 feet so I will first take 19 feet so 19 feet I will first for side 1 I will find the quantity length into breadth breadth is 9 inch that is 0 0.75 and height is 9 inch that is 0 0.75 I'll get 
10.687 but we know the B1 side similarly uh, as we have done in the uh, wall 1 and wall 2 similarly we have to multiply 2 so we will get 20 we will get 21.37 21.37 CFT so for side 2 beam side 2 beam side 2 what we have we have length 34 feet into brightest 0 0.75 that's 9 inch into height 0 0.75 it will be it will be uh, it will be 19.125 into just into 2 because 2 sides got it so the total will be the total will be 38.25 CFT you got it now we will find the total quantity for beam total quantity for beam will be 21.37 plus 38.25 that will be 59.62 CFT okay this is a total quantity for beam so we have done we have done the estimation for machinery we have done the estimation for beam now we have to find the quantity of cement sand and aggregate for this beam okay we'll find the quantity we will find the quantity quantity for quantity for beam so beam so I will use here the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 3 I know this is not any ratio but in my area they are using 1 is to 3 is to 4 I mean to say one bag of cement 3 okay so I will use that ratio the total will be 4 5 6 7 4 5 6 7 uh, plus 8 plus 1 that's 8 okay so now now I'll find the cement the cement will be the cement will be it will simply be the the cement will be the total quantity the total quantity of beam the total quantity of beam my dear brothers is 59.62 that's 59.62 into one because the ratio of cement is one into 1.54 as I tell you 1.54 is simply the wet volume okay divide by the sum that's eight so you will get here if you multiply these things divide by eight you will find the answer in CFT but what you have to do you will find the answer in CFT and you have to divide 1.25 1.25 is the volume of one bag of cement you will get approximately eight bags eight bags of cement what about sand sand will be similarly 59.62 into 3 3 is here the sand ratio, quantity of sand ratio of sand okay sorry ratio of sand into 3 into 1.54 divided by 8 sum so you will get here 34 CFT what about aggregate aggregate will be 59.62 into 4 what is 4 4 is the ratio of aggregate into 1.54 you have to multiply this right volume always divide by 8 it will be 45 CFT so this is the quantity of cement sand and aggregate what about steel steel will be so guys how to find the quantity of steel you have to remember one thing we need approximately 2.12 kg of steel for 1 CFT or you can say we need 75 kg of steel for 1 meter cube but here we have we talk about the all calculation is in CFT so I will just multiply 2.12 so I will take the total quantity total quantity as you know 
is 59.6262 total quantity of beam into 2.12 2.12 so you will get 126 kg of steel so you need 126 kg of steel and the quantity of slab quantity of slab quantity of slab will be quantity of slab will be we know the length is 19 feet breadth is 34 feet and height of slab is 4 inch 4 inch means as a two, what you have to do 1 divided by 12 0 0.08 into 4 inch it will be 0 0.333 so you have to here write here 0 0.333 so total quantity will be total quantity of slab will be 215.3 CFT okay so what about quantity of cement quantity of cement will be 1 the ratio I use here similar 1 is to 3 is to 4 so this is a traditional ratio this is not any straight ratio in my area they are using this ratio okay that's why I take this ratio otherwise the ratio uh, are M50 we take M15 that's 1 is to 2 is to 4 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 or 1 is to 4 is to 8 whatever but they are using this ratio that's why I take this ratio this is a traditional ratio this is not any standard okay so for quantity of cement it will be 1 1 is the ratio into 1.54 right volume of concrete into uh, 215.3 this is the total quantity of slab divided by sum 4 plus 3 plus 1 that's 8 so cement will be 41.44 just divide simply as I told you earlier 1.25 you will get the cement bags cement gears we need 33 bags of cement now what about sand sand will be 3 into 1.54 3 is here ratio into 1.54 wet volume of concrete into 215.3 divided by 8 so it will be it will be 124.33 CFT what about aggregate what about aggregate so guys quantity of aggregate will be 4 into 1.54 into 215.3 is the total quantity divided by 8 so, so the quantity of aggregate will be 165 CFT okay now what about steel steel will be as, you, as we know it is 215.3 CFT total quantity just to multiply into 2.12 for one CFT we need 2.12 kg of steel so it will be this is a minimum quantity okay it will be 465 kg of steel we need for slab total material we need for the room is for so we need 60 bags of cement okay we need sand 268 CFT and aggregate 242 CFT and still we need 681 kg of steel and generally in my area for any building or uh, for any traditional building they use sand they use mixture of sand and aggregate so what mixture of sand plus aggregate so I have add up these two things I will get 510 CFT okay this is the 510 CFT okay <coughs> this sand is taken by tractor in my area okay for one tractor it takes approximately 75 CFT okay so that's why I divide here 75 so I need seven tractors of sand and aggregate shuttering the shuttering uh, is mentioned that's 34 feet into 19 feet it is 6 is 46 feet is the uh, square feet is the total area for slab and the rate for one square feet is 23 approximately in my area so that's why I just multiply here 23 uh, and uh, this is the shuttering okay and labor cost I assume here 9000 okay now total quantity that's our abstract quantity the serial number one is cement the quantity of cement is first we will find the rate of cement as I told you earlier I have 60 bags 
I need 60 bags of cement. Okay, total bags, I need 60 bags. And in my area, the rate for per bag, the rate is 420 rupees. So the total cost will be 25200. 25,200 will be the total cost for cement. And now for sand plus aggregate, aggregate, the total quantity is 510 CFT divided by 75 as I told you earlier 75 is the weight uh, taken by one tractor 75 CFT so it will be approximately 7 tractors okay for one tractor the rate is 2000 and so I need 14000 0, 0, 0. rupees I need for sand plus aggregate what about steel for steel I need five I need total steel I need uh, as I told you earlier I need 681 kg of steel and for 1 kg the rate is 50 rupees so total rate will be 34050 for steel and what about shuttering shuttering as I told you the total area of, uh, the to total area of slab is 646 into 23 rupees is the 1 square feet uh, rate here so 23 I, I write here and it will be if I multiply it will be 14858 and 50 is labor charge it varies from place to place so labor charge here is I take here the total labor charge 9000 so I write here 9000 the total cost will be 97,108 rupees I, I just sum these things and the total cost will be 97,108 rupees is the total cost you got it so guys I forget here one thing the bricks the bricks as we know we have 4,293 bricks in my area the rate of one brick is 7 rupees okay what I have to do I have to just simply multiply 7 rupees into 4293 so I will get 30,051 rupees is the total cost of bricks so I will add this thing with 97,108 and I will get 1,27,159 rupees will be the total cost for this room thank you thank you for watching